What's up everybody, uh, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's Tech Support Tuesday, uh, I know this is being released a bit later than expected, but anyways, I'm going to go over uh, a way to be able to help others to be able to help find the stock of processors, video cards, and game consoles by running this program that is free off of GitHub called Street Merchant. So this is the program that I'm actually streaming on my live stream and have been doing over this weekend. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to run this yourself on Windows. So let's get started. So first you're going to go ahead and come on over here to GitHub and um, we need to go ahead and download Node.js 14 as well as Git. Now, now go ahead and take a look at the links down below to be able to get to all of these resources. Now when you download it, you want to make sure you get the 14.15.1 LTS. And you download that, and then you also need to download and install Git. Now, I already went ahead and downloaded these, so I'm going to just kick off the installer. But here for Git, uh, you go ahead and tell it to download it for Windows, and then just go ahead and follow the prompts. Now, once it's downloaded, we will go ahead and kick off the installer. And then just go ahead and step through it here, the next, 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 all the way across unless if you want to customize it, we're just going to accept all of the default settings during this install. Go ahead and hit finish. Now we're gonna go ahead and install Node.js. And then here, actually, we want to go ahead and check this to install the necessary tools, which will also install Chocolatey, which Chocolatey is basically a software uh, repository to be able to download and install applications from the command line. So think of it as like apt or apt-get or yum on Linux, but for Windows. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's totally fine because we're doing this setup on Windows. Just check the box and go through it. Now it's going to go ahead and prompt us here. It's got to install uh, Python and Visual Studio Build tools. I'm going to go ahead and just you know, hit enter a couple of times and let's step through this. All right, so it went ahead and finished here. So I'm going to go ahead and exit that. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up a new command prompt. Run that as administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and type in CD backslash and hit enter. And that is going to get us right to the C prompt. Now I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this uh, git clone command and it's going to pull the source code and everything from git and it's going to clone that into a folder called street merchant right off the C drive. So now I just do cd space street merchant hit enter and now if we take a look at all the files in here here we've got a environment example. I'm going to copy that to .env. All right, and then now I'm going to go ahead and come into the Street Merchant folder here and edit this. I'm going to use Notepad++. You can go ahead and use the regular Notepad if you don't have Notepad++, but this is just what I prefer. All right, so here we got the config file. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just define this as the United States, so USA up here for the country. And then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the information here for the user agents. Now, if you take a look at the config file, you have the different maximum prices that you can go ahead and configure for each and every one of these uh, items so that you are only notified on items that are below that particular price that you go ahead and specify. There's a whole lot of features in here, 
including like a notification sound. I'm not going to go really too deep into that uh, as I will be pointing you in the direction of the documentation that you will be able to step through it and finish configuring this on your own. All right, so now if we go over here for the customization and go ahead and click on that. And here we have the expand to see all available options. So I'm going to go ahead and expand that. And this goes over all the different options that you can set in that config file. And if we go ahead and keep scrolling on down, here are the supported stores. So for example, I will go ahead and take say Adorama. So we're gonna go ahead and edit the config file here. And you can see here under stores, I'm gonna go ahead and paste in Adorama, then do a comma. And come back here, let's see, we've got, let's see, Amazon and AMD, the Ant Online. I'm gonna go ahead and just take everything that is uh, here within the United States and populate this out real quick. All right, so that should be enough here and we can go ahead and get started with our testing. We're going to go ahead and run npm install. So now you can see it is downloading and installing Chromium. And Chromium is actually going to be running in the background doing the scraping of the actual uh, URLs and the websites that are part of this application. All right, so now we'll do uh, npm start run and see if this goes ahead and builds. All right, so now it is running, and let's take a look at the CPU utilization. You can see here it is literally hammering the snot out of this 10th generation i5 1035G4 processor. But uh, there we go, there we have it. Now to stop it, all you do is hold down control and then press the letter C a couple of times. And then when it pops up asking if you want to terminate the batch job, you just hit Y for yes. Now that concludes this Tech Support Tuesday video. I hope that you found this informative and it helps you also beat some of the bots at their own game. Hopefully you will be able to go ahead and purchase the hardware that you are seeking during these holidays. And let's go ahead and fight back against these scalpers and take our hardware back. Don't forget to go ahead and slap that like button if you haven't already and go ahead and click on subscribe and turn on bell notifications if you don't want to miss a beat. Again, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.